Good day, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the Vice Squad, brought to you by the Anadromas Fly Company. This week, uh, we're going to tie a little Frenchy, a little different than normal, just with the materials we're going to use. Um, we're going to start in the vices. This is size 10 uh, jig hook, sorry. And I've got a 532 tungsten bead and copper on there. If you really want some weight, you could. Uh, Definitely uh, add a couple lead wraps behind the uh, bead. In this case, we're not going to do that. But what we will do is start the thread there. Get rid of the tag. And then I'm just going to build up a little bit of a thread down to stop the bead from rolling forward here. So now that we've got that little thread down built, and I've also started the taper that we want for the body. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my thread down to just the head of the hook bend. And I'm gonna grab our tail material, which is, this is a peacock wing feather. I got a while back. And we're gonna treat it just like we would uh, pheasant tail. So I've got five fibers here. You just pull it uh, perpendicular to the stem and peel it off. It keeps all the tips straight. This stuff I found does like to stick together a little bit. I'm sure in the water it would uh, come apart and separate and splay out. So what we'll do is we'll make our tail about the uh, length of the body. So I'll put a couple of loose wraps on there. Just double check. Pretty close there. And then I'm just gonna tie that all the way up to behind the bead. And snip that out. Next, what I'm gonna do is grab a piece of copper wire. This is a small ultra wire. And I'm gonna tie it straight down the far side of the hook from me. To cooperate. Turn that right down to the tail, like so. Next, we're going to go back to that peacock wing. And grab six or eight fibers. And we'll gather them all up, make sure our tips are nice and even. And I'm going to tie that in on my side of the hook. Sure, we're tied right down to the tail again. Then we'll just make sure that the body is nice and uniform, nice and smooth. You can do that by uncording your thread by spinning it counterclockwise. And we'll just work it up to the front where we have a nice taper and everything is good. Next, we'll grab that body material and we'll just start wrapping it forward. Nice touching wraps works well. It keeps the body nice and even. Make one last wrap behind the bead and as I'm coming underneath here, I'll grab it with my thread and tie it off. Nice tight turns on that just to really lash it down. Snip those out. I'll 
I'll just throw on an extra couple thread wraps here just to really make sure that's nice and secure. Now we'll grab our wire. I like to make one full turn around the tail, feather only, and then I bring it up onto the body. And we'll just make some nice even turns moving forward. And we'll spin our wire out of there. Next, we're gonna put a little dubbing collar on the uh, on this guy. Uh, this is um, this is uh, what do they call it? Stevie's Choice UV Selection. It's from Vacuna Dubbing. I got a little while ago, and I really like it. It is pretty cool to work with. This stuff is uh, this is UV, like I said, so it should give it a little extra pop. And this uh, yellow that we're using is called Summer Duck and uh, I think it's a nice contrast to this uh, olive dyed peacock wing. So I've got a very small noodle there, very fine and not very long because I don't want to put a huge collar on this. That might almost be too much, no, that'll be okay. And then what I want to do is make sure that I finish right behind the bead with my thread and I'm going to do my whip finishes right away and that'll give us a little hot spot ahead of the uh, dubbing like so a little dab of head cement or some UV on there and that would finish this fly off just nicely very quick and easy little little uh, Frenchy fly nice and heavy gonna get you down no problem. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it. You won't miss any of our upcoming content, which there's all sorts of stuff going on all the time. Stuff new, new stuff every day. Um, please go check out our sponsors. That's the Anadromas Fly Company. Uh, you can find all their uh, gear, tools, scissors, everything that they sell on uh, our website, which is fishingandoutdoors.ca for our Canadian customers and dot net i might get that wrong for our american customers uh, at any rate thanks again everyone uh, really appreciate appreciate your support and thank you rick for uh, all you do for us uh, take care everyone we'll see you next week thanks